Hola everyone, welcome to my video. Um, here today I'm going to show you a, a brand new world that I downloaded from um, the Sims 3 exchange called A Tiny Town, uh, created by um, RF Long and um, I think they are actually quite known um, for making worlds. They've made several. Um, this one I just like the sound of. It's just filled with tiny lots. Um, it's unpopulated and she does say in there that you need town life and generations as well. Um, and you'll, you will see why. So this is the tiny world. I think this is great if you do struggle with loading worlds into your game this is small it shouldn't buffer as much um you know because it's all open world there's a lot for the game to load so i think that does help um but they managed to fit everything in because the lots are tiny and there's a lot of empty lots for you to build on so i made this sim earlier called Kit gwen wilder um and i'll just place her in one of the lots i quite like the one that's based at the bottom of that mountain which kind of reminds me of Mount Fuji. Um, I don't know if that was truly the inspiration but I feel that that was what they were going for. So here's my sim. I'm going to just take a look around the town, show you around. Um, I'll try and do it in a sort of a, an order that makes sense. So I'll start over in the corner. Um, this is actually the graveyard um, called King's Cemetery. Um, so being an unpopulated world, there aren't actually any gravestones in here yet, um, which, I mean, you know, if you, you like having ghosts, you might want to try and place them down. Um, but, you know, it's like a fresh start, essentially. Um, again, very Japanese sort of looking, that house like a um, in the tier style that they've done it in. Um, and they have thought, out the graveyard so they've put a death flower plant in there um which in sims 3 if you've got that in your inventory i think it like stops the grim reaper taking you there's um a pond in there as well which flows down into the other sort of park lots where you, again you can build up more things in there if you want um and I, i'm assuming you can get all the fish in there that you can from no, normal graveyard in the sims 3 this is the beach area um very cute and it's got generations items in there like the water slide and you get this really nice view from here so of the mountain with all the blossom trees around so if you like to take screenshots in your game a lot there's like quite a lot of nice areas to do that with so yeah you can see the tree house you can see the they've got the sound pit and all of that sort of stuff so um yeah and there's this little area here to i guess get changed and shower off after you've been in the sea so yeah quite a cute beach that um then they've got this song and dance bar um so they have put a, a lot in the game where your sims can meet up it's really cute kind of reminds me of central perk a little bit because there's the little stage with a guitar a dance floor um a little bar area um she can't actually do the dancing right now because there's no music playing but I, when i get on the lot she'd be able to do that um then there's like a little you know foosball and just place to hang out it's just quite cute um then we'll We'll just go around the other side of the uh, town and um, have a look at these little parks at the bottom of the mountain. Um, so here, we, this one's called Stone Park and again, really, really pretty. There's like little bits from generations, the little play area, you can do some fishing um, and then up at the um top area of the park there's a little gazebo um again you can do some more fishing so just some nice little places to hang out and i forgot what this was called so i'll just zoom out again um so that's the small traditional house again it's just sort of like a meeting area um but it goes with the whole sort of look of the town very cute love the little triangle sort of shape to that house um and you can take some nice screenshots there they haven't like over furnished any of the lots because i think it in a way that's great because it does give you room to decorate it more to your liking and customize it a bit more so um you know i, I do like to do that in my games to be fair so they haven't over you know gone over the top on doing it themselves another little community lot 
um, called Miner's Hill. So there's a little harvestable area there where which it's just good if you want to get into the gardening career there's lots of different plants there to harvest and you can't go in the mine and this um, area here is also decoration that looks a bit like Stonehenge um, but that you know that's just really nice little areas in the town if you want to just go and visit them um here they've got the science facility and the military base so we'll just have a look at this little street here and the lighthouse is in the background which is quite nice so yeah you could just get your career here for the in the science facility or the military base um these two little areas the little residential lots in what i think is meant to be like a little farm which is really really cute because if you you know do like sort of more an agricultural lifestyle in the sims there's a little spot which makes sense to live in and again it looks really pretty now this is a cool little um rabbit hole that they've made so the top part looks like a different building but underneath they've put the criminal career building and the stadium i, I guess they thought it doesn't maybe go with the look of the town so that's why they put them under there and then this is like a little cute again beautiful spot to take some screenshots there take your sims there and you know a lot of this town is just really really pretty um so this i love this part of the town um so they've kind of put all of the main community lots and career lots in one stretch of road so the hospital the cafe the business center um they've got and i know they mentioned in the description you should have town life for this world these lots are from town life so this you know cute little um gym and the community pool they're from town life um as is this little um library so yeah it's just nice it's all in one place so if you were hanging out with your sim and then you decided i just want to go to the cinema um I'm, i don't want to be in the the gym anymore you know there's it takes your sim like two seconds to go to where else you want to go so there's even the school um bookshop and police station so yeah it's literally down the same road i wish more towns were laid out that way rather than it being all scattered about because it's fine but it's just nice and convenient to have them all in one place um these are the only pre-made houses um in this world so i'm not 100 percent sure they go with the rest of the look like I, I don't know but um they are very cute no one lives in these houses because this world isn't populated so you know you're starting from scratch no sims live here um you know you could you could move yourself into one of these houses or you could do what i do and make your own uh, but they are quite cute looking you know there's a pink one a gray one um and they've got still the nice little blossom trees around them um so now i'm going to go back to the lot that i picked with my sim um at the base of the mountain um and uh, make her a her own little 10 by 10 lot home um so what i did earlier i downloaded the um yoga mat um from the mod the sims website um which i just loved the yoga from sims 2 so i thought that was a really good idea and it's kind of a shame it's not just in the game anyway um but yeah i base this whole house design around this yoga mat uh, which i'm going to try out later and show you because i haven't even tried it yet i'm really excited to do that um so yeah i made this house sort of zen relaxed theme um so yeah i'll just speed it up now
hope you liked my speed build um comment if it was done too quickly too slowly i'm still sort of experimenting with what's sort of the best speed to go for on these um so yeah but yeah i just went for really sort of calm colors to make it a really sort of soothing you know home design where it's yeah it just feels quite zen um and i did call it zen zone because that's what i was going for um i'm just trying out the yoga mat for the first time so yeah it's just look at her go i mean she is flexible you've got to give her that like she's only just started uh, you know that's pretty good going but yeah this is definitely giving me bringing back all the memories of sims 2 to me which is really cool oh god the llama's here and then he's seeing her in a very unfortunate position there. and he, and he fancies her i mean it's not that surprising with what she was just doing then but um and now the paper girl's here so it's just all chaos thank god she's got such a calming environment because you know she'd be completely stressed out by now with all these people you know just um, just arriving at a house and announced basically so yeah just run past me why don't you um so yeah it's a uh, yeah i hope you really liked it um and the town um is you know very unique i haven't downloaded one like this before um and i'm looking forward to making more tiny homes so if you do want to see more sort of tiny home speed builds or anything like that just let me know in the comments um and yeah i can do more of these share them with you um do different styles just you know i'm happy to experiment doing different things here so um let me know what your thoughts are um hope you really like this video um thanks so much for watching